It's time for Summit in 60. A skier was partially buried in a backcountry avalanche near Pointy Peak along the Park City Ridge Line Wednesday morning. The area is located behind the Canyons Village at Park City Mountain Resort. He was with two other skiers when they triggered the 100 foot wide slide on a north facing slope. His airbag was deployed causing his head and one arm to stick out of the debris. He did not sustain any injuries. Hey, Craig Gordon here with the Forest Service Utah Avalanche Center taking a look at one of the many human triggered slides from the weekend. Right now this is on a north facing slope at about 9800 feet. Here's the problem. There's this beautiful light fluffy snow on the surface, but as we dive deeper into the snowpack, it's really cohesive. These avalanches of the past few days are breaking on weak facets above the Thanksgiving rain crust. Once you collapse the slope, avalanches are breaking wide. They're taking out nearly the entire season snowpack. And man, these things are packing heat and they're running far. What's your exit strategy? Simply switch around to the other side of the compass. South facing slopes generally offer low to moderate avalanche danger. That's the ticket. Three applications were filed last week with the Summit County Planning Department to appeal the approval of the Action Sports Camp Woodward Park City. The Santa Bo Basin Planning Commission granted a permit for the project at Gorgosa Park near Interstate 80 earlier this month. The appellants claim the project is not allowed in this location and would infringe on the enjoyment of their homes and surrounding neighborhoods. The Summit County Council and the Park City Chamber of Commerce recently reached a new agreement for the distribution of transient room tax funds. The monies are collected from overnight stays at locations such as hotels and nightly rentals. The Chamber of Commerce currently receives 90% of the funds to promote tourism and the county retains 10%. Under the new agreement, the county will eventually receive 30% of the revenues. In your summit sneak peek, four seats on the Eastern Summit County Planning Commission and the Santa Fe Basin Planning Commission are opening up. The county is accepting applications for the vacancies. Apply by Wednesday, January 31st to be considered. For more information on any of these stories, visit parkrecord.com. I'm Angelique McNaughton with the Park Record and we'll see you next week.